According to the information what is said to be part of the last batch of shipments of Philippine Spider Air Defense Systems SPADS, that were transported to the port of Eilat in Israel for delivery to the Philippines as part of the Rafael Advanced Defense Systems contract under the Philippine Air Force's Ground-Based Air Defense Systems Acquisition Project GBADS, under the Horizon 2 Phase RAF PMP. The Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, will have more firepower now that the Philippines has three batteries of Spider Air Defense Systems, GBADS, capable of engaging and shooting down enemy aircraft and drones that may intrude on the country's airspace. This comes after the Philippine Air Force, PAF, formally took over the first two batteries of the ground-based air defense system, GBADS, at Basa Air Base in Florida Blanca, Pampanga last November 8, which was personally witnessed by President and Commander-in-Chief Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. GBADS is projected not only to protect vital military installations and various ground and air assets, but is also intended, when necessary, to secure our nation's center of gravity, critical government utilities, and other critical facilities and nationally important assets, PAF spokesman Colonel Ma said Consuelo Castillo when asked about the significance of GBADS for the country's defense posture. The GBADS will also be the primary weapon of the PAF's 960th Air and Missile Defense Group. The newly acquired GBADS or specifically called Spider Philippines Air Defense System SPADS, is a mobile air and missile defense system designed to protect critical installations, ground-based fixed assets, mobile platforms and friendly forces from air threats, such as fighter aircraft, attack helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, incoming missiles, guided munitions and rockets. In certain cases, it can also be used to neutralize surveillance threats. It is for this reason that we strengthen our country's capabilities in territorial defense, counter-terrorism and internal security. In keeping our defense systems updated with the latest technology, we fortify our capabilities to provide humanitarian assistance to respond immediately in times of calamities and disasters. With terrorism and external security threats brought by geopolitical tensions looming around us, around the Asia-Pacific region, and around the world, it is imperative that we continue to equip and empower ourselves in whatever capacity we are able, Marcos added.